All right, so um, we have that. <laughs> And I'll just fix the variation to 200. We have that. We can raise this, let's say, to 80. And that's our splatter. I mean, that's what we got. <coughs> In this tutorial, I'm not going to cover um, any of the shapes or anything like that. This is just so you guys get a better grasp of the actual particle work and how PFLOW works and the UI and whatnot. Um, this is not actually for a rendering. You can obviously do whatever you want as far as the rendering goes. If I take shape, uh, let's just say shape, I'll put it in right below my render. This will carry through all the events. Um, Let's say uh, any anything at all. You know what's funny about uh, selection? Like when it doesn't matter what it is, doesn't that make it so much harder to decide what it's gonna be? Like this could be anything in this list here, and I'm I'm stumped. I have no clue. Whatever it is you want to put in, I like the numbers. We can do that. You want to do numbers? Okay, good. Let's do that. Digits, um, courier. Uh, if we get, we can look at this here. We'll turn from lines to geometry. This will give us a good preview of the size of them. And if we're going to do something like that, you should put in a rotation. Um, I'm not going to do that. Just because you get the idea. Well, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. But you get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to, again, change that to lines. I'm going to take out the shape, or I'll leave it in, and I'll just turn it off. We'll turn it back on for a second. You can um, render that out, and you'll be able to see that. You'll be able to see your uh, your work. Like I said, this is not really to you know do that for you. It's for more of a the actual the workflow here for for a particle flow splatter. All right, so let's uh okay, a good way to um save this so you don't have to make it ever again if you don't want. Say like there's um if you're in a studio and you're working and a lot of people are depending on you to to um come through with this basic particle um events that they can use. A good way to save that is if you just go now that you have everything set up the way you want it, you can go to your tools and preset manager and you name um, as you can see already in here, I have, you know, I ran through this a few times. I'll do it one more time. I'll call it, uh, T-U-T, short for tutorial. Um, P-Flow Splatter. That's the name now. Um, you can put in the description. Um, Alan McKay, if you watch this, um, the reason your description got all messed up is because you can't hit enter as soon as you're... It won't read the um, the break in the lines. Um, Alan McKay does tutorials also. He's a fantastic... Like, um, I am nothing to him. He is the master. Um, I don't even pretend that I'm half as decent as him. <laughs> He's just a master. So let's say uh, he, he put in um, Alan McKay, and then he hit enter to put in the rest of the description because he wanted people to know where his preset came from. Uh, the problem is as soon as you hit enter, if I put in Mr. Gorn, enter, and then I put in my description, 
um, it's only going to read up to where you hit enter. So you will only get Mr. Gorn out of that. Okay, so I'm going to close this. I'm not gonna, what you would do is you hit um, save scene as preset. Oh, we'll, okay, we will do it, as a matter of fact. We'll say um, Mr. Gorn um, P Flow Tutorial. Um, well, we'll put Mr. Gorn Tutorial P P Flow Splatter, and we can hit Save Scene as Preset Flow. Okay, tutorial P flow splatters now in our little reservoir here. We could um, and you get the description. That's what this is. Um, and as you click on these different ones, you get the um, the description is all of these also. So, okay, so I'm gonna close that. It's saved, <coughs> and uh, I'm gonna hit uh, Control my keyboard plus A. I'm gonna select everything and delete. And now there's nothing on my scene. I'm going to hit six on my keyboard. Now I'm back to an empty P flow. I'm going to drag out a standard flow. And I'm going to uh, click on the one we just created. Tutorial uh, particle flow splatter. Click OK. And here's our whole thing again. The cool thing about this, of course, is that not only did it save our particle work, but... um. If we would have saved any geometry, for I mean, just as an example, look at this deflector. This was saved in there. If we would have saved geometry in there, it would also respawn the geometry for us. Like, it freezes the scene as a preset. So if I'm working with somebody, I could just send the preset to them in the pipeline. And they could just access it just as easy as I just did now. With that being said, let's move on to the next part. Where we'll convert... Uh, <clears throat> our splatter to a quick rain system and then maybe even after that I'll show you how to do a debris thing with it uh, it'll be fun so make sure you go to the next part